Hey guys, Fumbling here today and welcome back to Prison Architect. Uh, we are now running Alpha 20 and I'll quickly run through the major change and that is the grading screen which has no use right now because uh, we have to have 10 prisoners leave with the new Alpha. But we'll get that soon. Basically the idea behind is that, is that if they've added sort of more end game, I guess, achievements in, into the to the game. Uh, so basically, if we choose a prisoner, say this dude here, we have a new tab called grading, and this will... Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> His reoffending chance is 97%. Basically, you want to... Your prison... A good prison is, is basically one that reforms your prisoners, and they go out and lead a normal life and don't commit any more crimes. So you really want to get that offending reoffending chance all the way down. Let's choose a different dude. Uh, and the way you do that is by reform programs, good punishment, uh, a strict schedule, all that kind of stuff. So his is 50%, which isn't too bad. That's actually pretty pretty decent. Uh, but you can see where his weaknesses lie. Uh, the reform is pretty low. The punishment isn't great either. Um, but yeah, so you just need to sort of increase your... And, and it also really does impact the regime. The, the thing is, the more free time they have now, the the more likely they the um, reoffending rate goes up. So... You really want a sort of a strict kind of schedule. Uh, and I'm more inclined to add in yard time now as opposed to free time. I might add yard time after eat. Actually, no, they need to go to the toilet after eating. Maybe I'll add yard time after work or something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll play around with that soon. Uh, but that's that's pretty much the essence of the alpha. They did do a little bit of tweaking to the, the cash flow as well. Uh, where you could get a lot of money really quickly. Like before that used to be 10,000 uh, maximum. But we can only get that much now if we have 200 prisoners and then we can get a maximum of 10,000 extra a day without incident. Um, which is, by the way, I suggest you check out their, their official video on all this because it'll explain it a little bit better. And it's quite funny as well. Uh, what I'm going to do, we're going to try changing that to yard time. I might actually, let me, have, have, let me look at the needs real quick. Uh, food is very low. I'm, I'm thinking we could probably get away with only one eating time a day like if we get rid of this one in the afternoon or maybe even the morning i'm gonna get rid of the one in the morning we're gonna go yard time yard time yard time and then they're gonna have a bit of free time and they can go to the toilet or do whatever they want and we're only gonna have one feeding time a day uh and i think that should work because we're giving them a lot of meal and a high quality meal as well so i think that should be just fine um, right, anyways, so that's uh, that's kind of the adjustments we have to make, which is good, because I'm glad. That means we can continue on with this prison. We don't have to change everything up. Um, but yes. So, that was our new cell block that we sort of put together. Unfortunately, it, it could have been a little bit better. I'm, I, I was considering bulldozing everything and shifting it over one, but you know what? I'm not going to do that. And, and people, the other thing that people said is, why don't you use the clone tool? Well, the thing is, and people said it would make it quicker. It, it doesn't really, because it still took them a long time to actually build it all. And using the clone tool would mean we've just planned it all better, and then we just sit around and wait. And they are really doing nothing in the yard. They're <laughs> all crowded around there. Why are they all there? We've got this giant yard for them to run around in. I might increase the weights area as well. I don't think we have enough of those. But basically, we're going to shift the whole yard over anyways and uh, move, get another workshop uh, down here somewhere and and that kind of stuff. So we might as well get started on that. Let's go ahead. And how big was our workshop? I, can't, I always forget the dimensions that we need to, to use. Uh, so 22 by 14. Let's see. How, does this fit perfectly? Oh my god, it actually is 22 high. That is so good. Oh, it, all, it almost fits perfectly with the pathway though, but that's only 13 wide. Oh, so close. So close. Damn it. It's just annoying that I have to go over that pathway a little bit there. Anyways, that's where we're going to put the second workshop. So we're going to go ahead and go rooms and we're going to remove the yard section on that bit. Because we want them to shift over a bit. And that's where our yard's going to be. Actually, we'll probably move, end up moving the yard there. Because it's actually a much more central location. Which I might go ahead and do now. Remove forestry, and I'm just going to go ahead and dismantle all of these trees. So all our workers will come and get rid of all of these. We will get a little bit of wood from it, but not much, but uh, it doesn't really matter. We're not exactly strapped for cash, so we'll get rid of all those trees, and then we'll set about moving the yard over. Uh, all our prisoners are having a, a fine old time. We've got a few meals made, but unfortunately they're not going to be had for breakfast, because now they're going to have a bit of free time, 
and then go off and do whatever they like out of the common room. We should flesh out that common room a little bit more as well. But let's focus on one thing at a time. Let's get all those trees down. Wow, they are glitching out a lot. And I think they fixed the... Uh, yeah, they, they fixed the little icons here because that was broken in the last alpha for whatever reason. Uh, no grading yet. We've had no one released yet, so... Um, when do we have someone released? Oh, and there's also much more... You can actually fail at this game now. If you go bankrupt and you have a negative cash flow, you lose. If you if you have a riot that goes out of control, my, my favorite one though is if, if you have 20 deaths in a day, you'll get a warning say don't let this happen again. And if you get another 20 deaths the next day or whatever, whatever the limit may be, I'm not sure like, the exact number, let's just say 20, then you yourself get incarcerated and you become a prisoner in your own prison. So you actually control a little prisoner. It's actually amazing. We're, we're going to have to try this out, but that, that won't be in this series because I'm not going to invoke a, a bloody massacre just to try that out. We'll, we'll do that in a separate video. I'll probably set up a prison and uh, we'll, we'll try that out because I, I actually just want to play that. I wish you could, there was just a mode to play that because I think that's a really cool thing. I mean, it's just, at the moment, it's really just a side thing. You can't really do anything. I mean, you can try to escape, which is quite funny when you do it. Um, and and yeah, you have your own cell and everything like that. I think it's a pretty cool little... It's kind of like a little mini game of sorts. Uh, should we open up our prisoner intake? I think we should. Uh, we're getting 21. That's probably a little too much. <laughs> let's not get 21. All right, let's forget that. Uh, we'll open it up another day and check that out. So, all those trees are coming down. Um, slowly but surely... They are coming down. Oh, we should also remove, while we're at it, remove this fence. And let's just change, we might as well just change that back into grass. Because it will just be nicer. I don't know, it was, it was just a little sort of weights area, but we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to, we're just going to, we'll put some, we'll make, we'll make another designated area for weights in a minute. But uh, for now, we'll just go like that. Get some grass in there. Make it all nice. Uh, so we've got tree stumps left over, but that's all right. Um, yeah, okay, so let's go rooms. Where's my yard? There it is. So this is going to be our yard area. That, that is not going to be our yard at all. I'm going to go objects, dismantle, dismantle, oh, sorry, dismantle, dismantle all of those. And let's go materials, grass. We're going to grass all of that. $3,000. Um, still one tree there that we didn't seem to get for whatever reason. So let's get rid of that now. And... All right, so moving that over. Hopefully the tree stumps don't destroy the grass when they sort of decay. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, is that not being dismantled for whatever reason? Okay, let's get our weight benches back in like as soon as we can. I guess we'll, we'll probably just like line the top areas here with them. So a little one square apart. We'll have a whole bunch of weights up the top. Buy a few more to flush it out. So there's a lot of, a lot of weight benches that they can use to work out with. Uh, they're all just, why are they all standing in the corner? Go do something. I might put some benches down in here as well. So it's like a little park area. That might be a little bit nicer. Uh, so they can go, maybe have benches down this side of it. I can't put it there because there's tree stumps in the way. I gotta wait till they, the little tree stumps decay and get out of the way. <sighs> oh, that's a lot of money on exports. Actually, that was a lot of exports. All right, so now it's eating time. Actually, let me pause it. And let me have a look at their needs. Uh, yeah, so they're getting critical on hunger now but that means more of them should be eating and we do have enough meals uh i think we're gonna we, we definitely need to expand this kitchen as well we're gonna we're gonna knock down that wall and go into storage we'll move storage somewhere else uh we'll probably build a little room for it or something because storage really isn't that necessary um we'll focus on that anyways it looks like everyone has got a meal except for one dude that's hungry but that's all right there's one hungry dude but everybody seems pretty fine with that i think we can get away with of one feeding frenzy a day. 149 hours till we get $16,000. Really not worth it, to be honest. It's, I, mean, I mean, I guess it is worth it because it's free money, but it's a long time to wait for not much money. <laughs> We're going to make more money than that waiting for it. <sighs> All right, anyways, we've got four awaiting solitary confinement, which reminds me we should get rid of these jail doors on these ones because for some reason uh, we never change these. We have a whole bunch of jail doors on this solitary because we couldn't afford proper solitary doors. So we're going to go ahead and put actual doors on these now. Well, actual solitary doors on them now, I should say. Uh, put it there, 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 and there. And then I've got to get 
One in there, and finally one there. Right, okay, so that's quite a bit of money to spend on solitary doors, but now we have proper solid. I mean, they, they don't really make much difference. I mean, they do, but not really, unless there's like an emergency and people are trying to break out of the prison. Uh, but that's usually not the case in this prison anyways. Uh, so let's go ahead and build a foundation now. Let's go build the second uh, workshop. Be right there. That's our second little workshop area. Um, and so that's our, our new yard. And that's going to be our forestry, isn't it? So let's go ahead and go materials. Let's grass over that. I mean, this grass is all going to get destroyed when we put forestry on it. Because um, it's going to like litter it with trees. And then when they take the trees down, it's going to go horrible. And but anyways, it looks nice for now. It, it's, it's a nice starting point. So that's our new forestry. Not quite as big as the last one. But we can always add more in later. Why would you put them like there? They're like almost on the pathway. And that one is on the pathway. Cancel that one. Let's see if they put another one in. <laughs> They might do. Here come the trees. All right, so they've all got their yard time in the morning. Hopefully more of them sort of just use the weights machines now. I guess, oh yeah, I wanted to put more benches around the place so they could just sit down as well. All right, so let's finish doing that. Oh, we can't. There's still, there's still tree stumps in the way. They take forever to go away. Hopefully they, hopefully they, they disappear soon. I don't know. Oh, we'll come back to that. So how are we going on that? Oh, we need to do entrance. Cool, it's already done. That was pretty quick. We'll put the entrance up the top. That's in the center by the looks of it. Uh, how are we going on power? So that's our second power unit there, which we'll probably use to do this workshop. Because I think our first one is probably getting up there. Mm, yeah, I'm not going to use that. We, we can use that for more cells or whatever. Uh, but we'll use this power station for this area, like that. And let's go ahead and get all our tables in here. See, I don't... How does it work? How do classes work if you have two workshops? I'm not quite sure. I, I never learned that the first time around. Because they teach them in... Because our, our, our foreman's in there teaching them, right? Um, not quite sure how it works with two workshops. I have no idea, but let's, let's just play it play it out and see what happens. Uh, workshop saw. Alright, so we got saws down that side. And we got a couple away from the walls over there. It's going to cost a lot of money. It's quite quite the investment. All the way down. That should be 10. I wasn't actually counting. We can count on the other side. Ooh, did I just build something else there? It sounded like I did. I don't know. Anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yeah, so that's the right number. Um, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and get some tables down the side of this now. Uh, fill that out quite perfectly and fill, oh, fill that side out as well. We should probably we probably should put metal detectors on these workshops because we totally haven't done that. I feel like that's something we probably should do. <laughs> right, so that's going to connect all the way down there. That's going to connect to that. We might need to get some more capacitors on this. I'm not sure. Let's get a couple more, and let's go ahead and put in nothing. The, the I want to do the workshop room. There's a dude. They they use it anyways. First of all, they use it even though it doesn't have power. And they use it even though it's not designated as a workshop. I hope they fix that at some point, because the game's been like that for a while. Our prisoners are getting hungry. Not really, though. Like, I mean, they're, they're moderately hungry. None of them, not, only like one dude starving. Hopefully we get enough food for them by the time it's eat. Uh, which is, okay, so we've got two hours of yard time coming up. Oh, good, all the tree stumps are gone, except for that one. But that will go soon. Let's get a couple more benches in. Go one there. One there, and one there. Cool, we can fit a nice little number in there. Maybe we'll turn these into tables, so they can sit at little tables and have, have discussions. And maybe they have a little picnic if they want. A little picnic. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> little picnic. Yes, there you are. You can sit at those tables. I mean, they're not going to be there for this time, but because um, they're all busy doing that. Are we going on power? Yeah, that's fine. No worries. And there's plenty of meals. Yeah, so they have tons of time to make the meal. They don't have enough time to serve the meal, so, so I think we need to eat... Get more cookers. Maybe we'll do that now. Seeing as we've got the new forestry, we've got the yard up and running, and we've got the workshop, maybe we'll go ahead and get a new storage facility. Probably down here, I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, and then if we want to expand out this side, we might just have the pathways go through these common room areas straight through there, and we can expand out there. But we'll do a, we'll do a storage room down the bottom here. Uh, doesn't need to be big. Foundations. Just needs. I'm, I'm thinking of putting it here just because then they can, we can do a pathway there and going around the armory, not through it. Uh, if we put it here, do I want to? I don't want to join it. 
I don't know, it doesn't need to be big though. It just needs to be there. And I didn't do it all the way down the bottom because then it's going to join to the fence and look weird. Um, although I guess we could do that. Alright, fine, we're doing that. And I'm going to... Mm, that's not going to work. I want to get... I wanted to cut off that bit there. So line... Ah, oh, well, we'll demolish that later. Um, whatever. Right, open that up. Let me just open that for them. Where are you guys going? You guys going in a different way. Going to that one? Yep. Uh, anyways, let's put a door on that. It's just going to be a staff door right about there. And we're going to go materials and our concrete tile. Little pathway to that door there as well. And we'll have to obviously replace these doors with staff doors. Actually, no, we'll probably just lock these open. We'll keep them there, but we'll lock them open or something like that. Might as well. Wait, actually, let me, let me just check something before I go ahead and lock these open. <laughs> let me just check that this is actually inside the prison because we did destroy a little bit of the wall there. But it appears to be inside. But I'm not going to lock those doors open just yet. They put a door on. Why is that not working? There's definitely a door there. Uh, let's see. Let me, let me do that. And do that. Did that. Did that seriously just cost me more money? Okay. Oh, now I've cancelled it again. Fantastic. What if I do that? Now that cost me more money again. Okay. And are they going to actually build it? They're coming to build it again, so I don't know. Jeez, oh, I don't know. <laughs> that that one that one just royally glitched out. Here, here, oh my god, here coming the armada of workmen. And that's all they did. Is it going to build? Oh, there it goes. And it didn't put any walls in. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, so let's let's fix this up. Uh, we're going to replace. I guess we're going to have to replace that wall there, and we want to replace that wall there. It's a really weird building now. I didn't intend for it to be this weird, and it's kind of unfortunate. Oh, here come the armada! We have so many workmen, actually. And he's coming to do that wall, and they're coming all the way around the outside to do this part of the wall, replacing the fence with the wall. Anyways, this is going to be our storage. So let's go re-designate that as storage room now, and we're going to get rid of that one, and all that stuff, I guess, will be eventually moved to the new one. Uh, let's go ahead and go door. We're going to put a door there. And we're going to lock that open. And also lock that open. And let's go materials, concrete tiles, floor. Let's just do a little bit of grass around here. So it looks nice. Yeah, they like a nice little look. Uh, we don't really... I don't know. We've got, we've got a door there. There's no reason for it, actually, now that I think about it. It's just a door for the sake of a door. Anyway, so that's where our new storage room is, so that's where those guys can chill out. And then we can expand the kitchen back into there. And our danger level has been low the whole time, even though I have not been paying attention to it whatsoever. So let's go ahead and demolish this wall here. And we also want to dismantle those doors. Uh, let's go material. We should probably do a shakedown at some point. Uh, let's do that now. Probably not a good time to do it at 3 p.m., but um, <laughs> whatever, we're doing it. Uh, objects. Oh, jeez. Let's go to where's my dismantle there it is dismantle 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 and let's go materials demolish walls all that now it's kind of awkward that we got a visitation door there because that's kind of going to go through the kitchen now although i guess i can just put the wall around like that all right so let's go materials brick wall it's going to come down like that no it's not going to do that at all because that's where the doors are going to go are they going to is that being that door, that wall is supposed to be demolished, but they haven't done it yet for whatever. Oh, well, that's why they haven't done it. Why is there no guard opening that door? Oh, because they're all... Of course. If I could... Hang on, let me... Of, of course, because we're doing a shakedown. Ah, oh, jeez. I, I hate this. I hate this glitch. Why? Why can't you layer doors above everything else? <laughs> why? Oh, I can't do anything about it. Is that guy coming to do it? Oh, thank Christ. Let's... Try to keep that open real quick. Oh, so we do we do have a guard patrolling there now, so hopefully we should be alright. Um, okay, that was annoying. Let's go. Objects, staff, door. Oh, they, we shouldn't have demolished that bit of the wall there. Uh, I think if I put a door in, they open up by default, don't they? I think so, yeah. So if we put it there, and then there. Let's go materials, brick wall. And then enclose that section there. Rooms, let's go for our kitchen. Wherever that may be. There it is. Fill all that in. So that's our new kitchen area. We're going to get some more fridges down the side. They're more cookies, I think. Because we, we want to pretty much double everything up in here. 
Hopefully we have enough power, enough juice, as it were, to support all of this. Let's go sinks, sinks, and let's go for more cookers down this side. Oh, look, we can actually double up the entire kitchen. Well, almost, because the room isn't that, quite that big, but almost doubles it up. Right, materials, gonna go water. Hopefully this doesn't overload the power. It might, might very well do that actually, because it's getting very, very close. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, we seriously just, we literally just made it by a pixel. Wow. Wow, that was close. That was close to blowing up. Um, we might divert some of the power though. Uh, if we, if we cut off down there maybe. Yeah, let's go, let's go dismantle utility. Let's cut that section there. Actually, we could leave that one in. I'll leave that. No, 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 we'll cut that bit. And this will connect up to... Hang on, before we connect it up, let's go capacitor. Oop, did I place too many? I'm not sure how many I just placed then. Hopefully it didn't let me place one over... The... Yeah, all that's... All that doesn't have power at the moment, but it doesn't really need it. Um... <clears throat> All right, so all our new capacitors are being put in. That should be fine to connect up the new section. We're just basically going to connect this up to there, to that uh, power station. And that's going to power this half. So that's going to down there as well. And that will power that bit of the kitchen and take a little bit of stress off of that one there. At least that was the, the point of doing that. Uh, we should probably look at taking in more prisoners today. Whoops, sorry, clicked off the window there. Uh, let's just slow it down and have a look how many we're going to get. 15. Uh, what does that take us to? That takes us to just over? Yeah, just one person over the limit, isn't it? I think so. Uh, yeah. So that's all right. Should have a few people leaving, or at least we'll get them in a holding cell. It should be fine. Um, <clears throat> all right, so that's all powered up now. No worries. Let's get some more chefs, maybe. Do we need more chefs? We'll go up to 12. Yeah, we'll go 12. I don't think we need 12, but we're going to go 12. Why not? Okay. Cool. Right, that's all working well. Uh, the new yard is working quite nicely, except for that bit that doesn't have grass, because that's where there was a tree stump at one point. Uh, I don't know how the workshop's working. Uh, presumably well. I don't know. Staff, let's go to our deployment and guard patrols. We don't even have a guard, but do we just have a deployment in there, do we? Oh yeah, we just have a deployment in there. Let me get rid of that. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the deployments, but I'd rather have all my staff on one form of sort of patrol. Because, like, I don't, I don't like have guards on patrol and guards on deployment. Um, it's kind of annoying. I don't know. It, it, it's just something I get annoyed by for whatever reason. <laughs> don't ask questions. Okay, so that should get all our guards in there. Um, and we should be able to see just fine like that. Okay. So, oh, geez, not that. Get out of that. Right, well, let's have a look in our bureaucracy. Do we want to do taser rollout? And if so, do we have enough money? I don't know. Uh, 31,000, I guess we do. Do we, I don't know, do we, we don't really need taser rollout. I think at this point, this is kind of a waste of money. Or for uh, We could get it at some point, but I, I kind of want to keep working on the prison and building it up and just getting a, a beautiful place to be. Uh, so what have we got to do? We've done the workshop, which they are definitely using, without a doubt. Uh, how are we going without... Oh, no, 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 I don't want to buy the plot. Where's my program? So let me go reschedule. 45 finished, 37 passed. Oh, I should probably assign jobs. That's something I haven't done. Let's just assign... Let's just assign all 20, even though we, can, we only have 30 in total, but at least that means all of them that can be working will be working on it. Uh, and it looks like they actually are now, so I don't know if they fixed the deployment between between jobs and all that when they get qualified. Hopefully they have. Uh, we might actually turn half of this into carpentry at some point, if anyone's interested, are they? We have four interested in carpentry. Maybe what we'll do is we'll get rid of uh, a couple... I'm not going to dump it. We'll dismantle these bottom ones. Actually, no, 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 cancel. Did I cancel it? No, cancel, cancel, cancel. I don't want to dismantle it. I don't want to... Oh, it's too late. I was going to do it in this one because this is the one they teach in. So I figured that maybe that would be a better place to do it. I have no idea though. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I, I figure it just works. So he, he's just dismantled that. Let's now put it back again. Because that was my bad. Right, let's go dismantle a couple up the back here. 
uh, objects, dismantle, make that smaller, dismantle, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Although the carpenter tables are quite large, I hopefully we can squeeze them in up there, but we'll, we should be fine. We'll just get four of them. We've got four interested, so hopefully we can teach all four of them at some point. Although I think we really could have just done it in there, because, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> We're doing it this way now. Right, carpenter table. Carpenter table, carpenter table, carpenter table. There we go. All right, so they're all going to go in there. That was expensive. Yeah, fair enough. Hung oh, hunger. Uh, oh, jeez, that is a small canteen. We need to expand that. Uh, we need to expand. Yeah, we got 107 out of 106. Do we have someone leaving soon? When do people leave? Get out of my prison. Um, how many have left? Zero have been released. Okay, nobody's left yet. Uh... I guess I stay for a long time. We should also probably turn off prisoner intake because that would be a bad thing. So we just have one. Oh, we got a lot of people in there actually. Actually, that was one thing you guys said in the comments was that I forgot to do the holding cell trick. Remove it and because then those guys aren't assigned cells. And now all but one prisoner should have a cell. Uh, food seems to be doing all right. Uh, might get another table in here if we can squeeze it in. Not really. Maybe if we bunch all these tables up, we can get one there, one there. Still doesn't really help. What if we go this way? A table, two, three. And we could do. Hang on, let me let me do planning here. I just need to see if I can configure a way to get more objects in there. So let's go four, 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 and then we're going to use walls for tables just to differentiate. So that's our table. So we'd have a long table like that, then a gap. We don't need the thing is you don't actually need gaps, but I always feel like we do. So we get a table there. And see that door is in a, not a very good place is the problem I'm having. Let's go 12 along there, 12 the gap. No, not that big of a gap. That gap. That gap. Is this more tables? Because we got three tables there. And I've done those too close. Whoopsies. Um, put that there. And I've still done these too close. Jeez, oh, stop it. Stop doing it wrong. There we are. Okay, there we go, that's better. Right, so what we get uh, uh, six there and six there. So we get 12 tables in total, whereas now we have 12 tables. Uh, so <laughs> there's literally no difference in that layout. But it looks like we can fit more in the middle here. Uh, if we go, what if we did this? And then, no, see, they, I don't like how they touch though. And also then we'd only have one door if we get rid of that door. Unless we move, we skip a table. And we go, oh, unless we do it this way, four, 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 get rid of a couple of phone booths. And we go table, table, table. So we can get three extra tables in basically if we did it that way. Although I might shift them back one and then we wouldn't have to get rid of phone booths. All right, maybe we'll do that. Uh, we've got to do this now though, because we're going to come up on eat time pretty quick. And we're going to have to remove those phone booths as well. All right, objects, dismantle. Let's go dismantle everything pretty much in here. And all of the... Oh, I think I dismantled the light. Whoops. Dismantle those. All right, let's get those done. Come on, guys. Let's go, go, go. Hustle. Get your hustle on. We've got plenty of time, though. I say that, and then we'll probably get to, get to eating time and we won't have any tables or something. So we're going to get table, table, table. Table, 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 uh, and then table, 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 table. All right, and then we still have nine tables spare. Did we just lose tables? Was, uh, I don't know. Did Why do we have nine spare tables and 24 benches? I don't know. Apparently we have a lot of spare tables. <laughs> I don't know where they came from. Uh... It's going to go there, is it? Yeah. And then there. Yeah. Oh, no, we're buying them. Oh, no, it's just because I haven't placed them. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I was like, oh, my God, why do we have so many spare tables? Right, let's place all the benches in. We could even use little, We could even use single chairs if we wanted. They, they look nice, but not really worth it. All right, let's get all these in. Stop worrying about that. <laughs> uh, let's get all these in. So this will allow us to have more seated prisoners. I'll calculate how many in just a second as well, because I'm curious. 
Oops. So we are now purchasing new benches. There we go. All right, so they're going to put those all in. Uh, how many tables do we have? So we have 6, 12, uh, 15 tables. And you can get, what, 8 a table? Uh, so what's that? We get... 128 prisoners are able to be seated in there then. So that's that's enough now, uh, which is good. Uh, without a problem. Although, did we have enough seats before? No, I think we had like 96 or something before, didn't we? I think that was somewhere around there. Can Where, where, are, all the, my, where are all my workmen? And why aren't they doing the, the tables and benches? What are they actually doing? Where are they all? I see some running around, but I don't know what they're doing. Dude, go to the benches. Oh my god. What is that? Sheet metal. Why does that look so weird? Why does sheet metal look green now? Oh no, that's fine. That one's green though. C can you do the tables and benches? What are you doing? Stop doing- oh my god. Okay, so we- Yeah, alright, so we actually are gonna get to eat time without enough tables and benches. I'm pretty- I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen right now. But we're going to have to wait till next time to find out. I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.